Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In this episode, we're going to be finishing off the Honey Hive Gal- I mean, the Golden Leaf Galaxy. By doing star number three. Alright, let's get started. So number three is entitled, When It Rains It Pours. And, we got thunderclouds and a tower and fun stuff. Fun stuff going on. Alright. So once we enter our fall honey hive galaxy. Again, you want to turn around to the back to get your Luigi L. Uh, what do you guys say? That's the observation deck, the pride of our galaxy. If it's the pride of your galaxy, then why wasn't here it here for the last three stars? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, here this swing is completely pointless. So, that's fun. Uh, heading back to the secret passageway. You're gonna wanna eventually go up here. There's a few ways to get up here. But, you already know this way, so I might as well. Go to the Piranha Plan, get some Star Bits. And I'm getting Star Bits from not even nowhere. All right, then become B Mario. Kill some more bugs. And piranha plants. There's also a sprout of vine over here, which will take us up uh, to that place where the bee mu mushroom was, if we ever need it. We can go up here for a one up. Here are these things, which are annoying. Make sure you don't go under the uh, water while you're a bee, because obviously it's a. Make sure you don't get hit, too, like an idiot. Yeah. And as you can see, regular Mario cannot stand on clouds, just like he cannot stand on the flowers, because he's too heavy, and apparently the bee suit makes him lighter or something, I don't know. Anyway. So in my practice run, I actually feel like investigating that coin down there. And it actually does do something, so let's go see what it does. You definitely want to gonna have bee Mario when you hit here, because it actually turns into a sling star, which will swing you to the top of the galaxy, which is nothing but this pipe. So let's head down. We got one of those, another interdimensional land places. This time, some rocks going around it. And when there are rocks, they're usually rainbow star, and this is no exception. Can I make the ah? Uh, couldn't make it to the last one. Oh well. So yeah, that's just for some extra star bits if you want them. But don't go try to get that coin without Beam Mario, because you will miss and you will fail. All right. So heading back down. Okay, good. I actually landed on something because I was unsure of where I was. We're gonna want to go once again back and get that Beam Mario because we're gonna need it to progress. You launch yourself over here, back to the uh, sprout one, and become Bee Mario for the third time. Alright. So now you can use this uh, flower launcher thing, and you can also fly up here for some more extra star bits. Just make sure to avoid the water so you don't have to get the Bee Mario mushroom off fourth time. And then, aww. As you can see, B Mario can stand on these clouds, and obviously you already know he can stand on the flowers. And we got the return of Manda Bugs! And where were they last? Oh yeah, the B Galaxy, the Honey Hive Galaxy. The B Galaxy, yeah! Alright, and before we go up, we can also head down here. For Manda Bug to kill. If B will tell you to actually give you a hint about the boss coming up to defeat them with a rapid descent while doing the uh, 
ground pound. Although, when you look at the boss, you'll be like, oh, well, that's obvious. Because it's pretty obvious to tell his weak points, as with all Mario bosses. I really wish there would be a boss that, like, you have to actually figure out instead of, here's my weak point, hit it three times, and you're done. But, what am I to judge a Mario game? I certainly couldn't do any better. So let's do some simple cloud platforming. And we're on to the wooden platforms that magically appeared for this star. Oh no, whatever will we do, I mean more took over observation deck. Some Amanda bug to kill. New. The entire star is about keeping the bee true. It's not required to keep it, but it makes platforming much easier because of its added flight time. Ha! Sneak attack. See, like that. If you do stupid stuff like that, if you have the bee, you won't die. And this used to have star bits, but I kind of already got them all. So I'm just gonna fly over here, get under this, and onto the main part of the tower. Which is pretty much hide and go seek with rain clouds. If rain clouds coming, hide in one of the crevices. I guess that's what you'd call them. And aw, you jerk. Got me when I wasn't looking. And if you ever lose your bee shroom, you're gonna have to come all the way back down to the bottom. Now, if you don't feel like waiting, you can also fly up and around. It's a little bit more risky, but. Because you're speedwaying and you're not gonna get me this time, stupid rain. Right. Just keep flying up and over and around. Let this go by. And then we got another coin, which tells us to go up. When the only way we've been going is up, so that's kind of pointless. Alright. And then this will give us a spout of vine. Which will get us to the top with the boss. We don't even get to land. So this is another instance where having the bee shroom is useful, but it's not required. If you get hit once by his uh, bubbles or the rain cloud, you will lose your bee shroom and the boss will become slightly more difficult. But that's like saying chocolate cake with some sort of, I don't know, lemon frosting of something you don't like. Makes it slightly less tasty, but it's still pretty dang tasty. Or, to put it in this term, it's still gonna be really easy even without the, the uh, mushroom. And every time he hits you, he puts you conveniently right back on that island where the platforms appear. So, Really, this is all just about dodging his uh, water shots, because the only thing that can actually hurt you in this boss battle is a spike from the floor. And now he gets into rage mode, gets his attack pattern to go faster. And then just one more hit, because, aw, lost my beat. And, excuse me! Thank you. We'll finish this guy off in regular Mario mode. All you need to do is just jump over here and do a regular ground pound. And he's done. And we got a stall amidst the explosion. I like how the debris is still floating in the air. And just launch over. And get the stall. Alright. We're almost done with this copy galaxy. If you'd call it that. Clone Galaxy? Sister Galaxy? Something. I don't know. They're related. That's what I'm getting at. So. Once this stuff that I don't care about is done. We'll head back. But the comet's not there yet. So we have to open up the next galaxy. The Sea Slide Galaxy. Which will have a very annoying star. Probably next video, not this one. But we'll get to that when we get to that. For now, we're going after Guppy. And this this galaxy is just one big loop of water 
with some islands around it. Which doesn't seem too bad, but once you see the stall that's the annoying one, you understand. Alright, what do you guys say? No one's out beyond this point. Okay, so I don't have to go that way. This is one awesome loop of ocean, but that blue hogan is causing trouble to keeping us out of it. The big bull is doing a lot of fun. The guy's faster than a torpedo. It's crazy. We gotta try swimming with a shell. Yeah, that's that's the hint. We came here to find a palace doll, but there's something freaky in the water. No way am I going in. You know you can dive with Z, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only told me like 500 galaxies ago. So that's the hooligan that's been causing trouble? Yeah, well, I'll teach him. No, you won't. I will. You don't do anything. Stupid Toad Brigade captain. Coming out of the worst possible time, not doing anything. So we're just approach Guppy, I guess his name is. Who do we have here? You some friend of the penguins? Let's get something here. Some let's get something clear here. Landwalker, this sea's mine, see? If you want to back, show some gills and make it through eight rings. Collect my eight rings, and then come back and beat me. Not really. Now he's going to make rings whenever he swirls around. And this first one's not really much you can do because you can't even get a shell yet. But obviously we're going to want to head for the red one over here. Now no matter how hard you try, you can't get all the rings and actually get past it. But you're not supposed to get past it. You're only supposed to get the eight rings. So. This also gives us a good tool of the loop without actually having to get out of the water and expect everything. Like these underwater caverns. There was a lighthouse we passed. Um, there was some whirlpools to avoid and an eel. Hot geysers, which you also have to avoid. A crossing plank thing. You can see the uh, star shroom up there in the distance if you look for it. And we also have a big tree that's like, growing out of the water. I don't even know if that's very possible. Got some bricks. And that's the last one. After that, he throws us off star back to the beginning and we made a loop around the entire island. Not bad for a land walker. Well, I'm a fish of my word. The sea's all yours, buddy. And that'll open up the water to the other two stars we'll be getting here. But before we do that, getting that star will... Uh, create the comet for the Golden Leaf Galaxy. Yeah. Which, just like everything else of the Golden Leaf Galaxy, is the same as the Honey Hive Galaxy. And if you remember what it was, it was a cosmic comet. So we have another base with Cosmic Mario to take down. We haven't seen him in a long time. This one's going to be revolve around the uh, third star layout. So, let's get going. Okay. Alright, sorry about that. You might have heard uh, steps in the background. I was interrupted again. But, Cosmic Mario meets again, and I like how he's not really a skin, but he's more of the absence of the skin, and instead of the, well, the background is reflected in him. So, I'm just gonna wanna go up here, faster than the Cosmic co -Gout. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Don't take the one up, it's trapped. It's a trap. Anyway. And there's the star already, so let's go up and grab it. And there's your third star and the final one for this video. Alright. So next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna be returning to the Sea Slide Galaxy, doing that really annoying star. And seeing where that gets us. Alright. See you guys then.